This is Mary at the Marriottier, and I am going to do another Marathon. Now, Marathons were really <laughs> kind of a Azure Muse, Azure Muse, her, her suggestion. I said I should stay up all night sometimes. She said, call it a Marathon. So I am going to stream for the next four hours. I'm getting caught up on all sorts of art that I need to get done. And I'm awake and I'm ready to do art. So I'm going to stream until probably about four o'clock and then I'll take a break and probably start again at 5.30 until 8.30 or 9 is what I'm thinking. So what I'm going to do in this segment is, why hi to everyone who's come in. Hi, Joan. Hi, Giovanna. Hi, Holly. Did you get your granddaughter and dad? I felt so sorry for you. You sounded like you, you were trying to listen to me and read the chat and get your granddaughter settled down. <laughs> you did. Okay. Well, cool. Um, I just put this here to have something to look at. I wanted to show this to you in my other uh, stream tonight, and I forgot. I got this at Dollar General today. And it's sort of like a mid-sized composition book. They call it a composition book, but it's got kind of a plastic cover. But it is stitched in the center here. It's stitched. And it is probably about, what, five by seven? Let me get my ruler out here. It cost me 50 cents. I thought that was cool at Dollar General. Uh, of course, I always get the ruler at the wrong. Yeah, seven, five by seven. So that's kind of a neat little handheld composition book. Not expensive. So I'll be working in that, but not tonight. I just wanted to show it and I forgot. Forgot. So what am I going to do in this? Hi, Suzanne. Welcome back. Hi, Mina. Hi, Debbie. Welcome, welcome. Now, I want to say to you guys, if you get sleepy, <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> go to bed I won't hold it against you but let's see I'm going to work on my July journal so I'm going to, to uh, zoom out a little I'm going to work on the cover I want to zoom out enough that you guys can see but I don't want to show my desk here my my feet are right there <laughs> I've got uh, I've got leggings on <laughs> And I don't know if I can move that down anymore. Let's see if I can move it down. Uh, no, it goes. I'd have to move my camera. Let's see what happens if I move my camera. It gets a little iffy. There we go. Maybe like that. And then this right up here, right there, is the top of my, I bumped my see, I bumped my camera when I did that. But right there is the top of my desk. From here, right here, right there, kind of <laughs> slanted, maybe a half an inch. From here to there, maybe 20 inches is all the width I have to work on. And not too much wider over this way. This is this is um, 18 by, that's it, 16 by 20. So I would say my desk is probably, well... 18 and 18 probably about a yard 36 inches wide this way and 20 so i don't have a whole lot of space to work <laughs> but i'm going to fix that i'm going to get a board to extend my desk and i think that might work we'll see but all right so i got my canvas pad out here and oops i know it's got a lid on it but Oh, am I going to be able to get that out? I knocked my water jar over. It has a lid on it, so I don't think it's going to get the rug wet, but I better reach over in here. And where? Oh, it landed okay. I think it's going to be okay. I'd have to, I'd have to get in front of my desk to... I knocked my water jug over. Good thing it wasn't my water pot. <laughs> I got a, a jug that I use for water. All right. 
So this is my canvas pad. I'm going to try to adjust this camera just a little bit more there, but I don't like that. There. Sorry about the windows. Sorry, sorry. Oh, and then I hit it again with my head. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Hey, it's 12 o'clock at night. What do you expect? <laughs> night owls, Debbie says. Yes. Mina says, it's only 10 p.m. for me in mountain time. Mountain time is only 10 p.m.? Really, are you two hours behind me? You must be specific time, Mina, because it's 12 here. You must be sp specific time. 10 p.m. would be, 11 o'clock would be mountain time, wouldn't it? Maybe I'm mixed up. <sighs> Mary Quake. Yeah, that's about what it was, was a Mary Quake. Okay, this pad was given to me by Sherry Lynn. And Sherry Lynn peeked in my stream tonight. Of course, I was off doing something, and so I missed her. I missed her, but so good to see her. I, I read her comment about a half an hour later, 45 minutes later, so I missed her altogether. But it's so good to see her. And she donated this canvas pad to me, and I've been using it 16 by 20. And I've been using it to do the covers on my art journals for 2019. And uh, it's a canvas pad. This is a, this is a canvas. Um, it's not a canvas like a, it, it's thread, but it's not a canvas like a thick cotton canvas. So... I don't know how they make it, but I like it. But I do have to tape it down. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to tape it down with my masking tape. And I'm going to sketch out for you what I want on my July journal. I'm going to try to follow Chet a little bit closer. Is my camera still crooked? Where's my... My camera's crooked. I don't know. Well, get ready for another quake here because I'm going to see if I can't straighten it out a little. And then I need it pointed down. It's very, uh, very shaky. <laughs> so, and I'm just going to tape it down to, this is actually on this other side here is let's flip it over and look at it since we have everything cleared off my desk let's uh i'll show you where i was on my fibsville mary atelier and then i quit doing it because i'm going to pick it up again in august oh let's see i've got a note here what is this oh it's upside down this is the map of fibsville this is some some printed paper, I think that Beth said. No, I was printing. Oh, I was doing stamps. Let's pull this stuff out. Uh, that was prompts, some sort of prompts. Here I was on Fibsville. And you know, I'm not sure I like it. I think maybe I stopped because, oh, I know, I didn't like the greens. I did not like the blue sky. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do on it yet. I'm not sure I like how long this building is it seems like an awfully big building for a small town i might break it off here and do another building kind of in here the same color but kind of put a side building in there and break it off in there and make some separate buildings here because this looks like white one big long building going way down the street <laughs> it almost looks like a train or a dining car or something. So, and then I painted a lot of this out when I painted the sky. But this will be a rooftop garden. And, and this really is a rounded corner. And I don't quite have that achieved. I think I achieved it on my sketch, but not my painting. So think of all of this as an underpainting. I'm, I'm not quite happy with it. So I'm going to flip it over and we're going to work on the July one.
flip it this way. <laughs> I need to flip it anyway because I got all that. I got all of this up here that was really down there when I was working on stuff. So we'll just put this here. Kind of straighten this out a little here. There. It still looks crooked to me when I look at it in the camera. a little crooked here. It is a little crooked there. There. That's a little better. This is crooked in here, but I don't know if I can straighten that out. We'll just leave that. This part here is straight, though. In here is straight. This up in here is not so straight, but that's okay. I'm not going to work up in there. So let's see what you guys are saying here. Mary, when do you sleep? Uh, I sleep when I'm tired. <laughs> Does that answer it? Actually, I did not stream last Monday. I did on Tuesday. I didn't on Wednesday and Thursday. So I kind of had, I kind of had got some rest this week. Uh, I went to the store. I had to get envelopes today. Um, bubble envelopes, padded envelopes. And uh, I rested this afternoon. I napped this afternoon. So I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. You coin, you coincide with Pacific right now. It's 10 o'clock. Really? Well, that's interesting, Holly. It's 10, 11 p.m. here, Mina says. So Holly must be right. Pacific time. Hi, Crafty Kitty. Welcome back. I think Arizona is mountain time, but mountain time is one hour earlier than central time. Yes, it is. So it would be 1110 in Arizona. Yeah. I always think of it as, as uh, well, going from when it's 12 o'clock here, it's 1 o'clock in Eastern. So it's 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. That's kind of like a four-hour difference between Eastern and Pacific. Eastern is 1.13 a.m. And hi, Beth Schuler. Beth Schuler is awake. And Beth, I'm going to work on your, I'm going to do you a new little scrap man. And I'm going to work on it so I can get your package out to you. I got your doll ready to go. I got your stamp ready to go. And I need to know, if Beth, if you want those carving tools. If you don't want them, I'm going to send them to somebody else. But if you want them, I'm going to go ahead and send you the speedy carve regardless. Yes. Your kitty got you up. You want the carving tools, Beth? Was that yes for the carving tools? Hi, Ray. Welcome, welcome. You just popped in getting ready for bed soon. Well, thanks for popping in. Yeah, these time zones get you all mixed up. They get me all mixed up. And then I just get it straight, Mina, and it changes. You want them? Okay, I'll send them along. I wish I would have picked up the gel plate. I was there yesterday, and I didn't even I didn't even think to check to see if it was still there. Uh, the speedball gel plate. I didn't even think to, to check. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this down so I can get to work on the July cover. My July theme is going to be patriotic, but honestly, I think it's going to be more colonial. I mean, I'll do some patriotic things like for the 4th of July and that, but I want to do like colonial art. If you go out and look at it, like I, I went out to that public access, the public domain in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And you can, for their search there, their search library, you can filter your searches. And I filtered it for um, the time period and the states. I filtered it for the United States between 16, 1608, I think it was, and 18, 1700. I can't remember. But you get all these colonial 
pieces of art that they have and it's everything from furniture to dresses to samplers to, you know and it just it totally blows my mind it totally blows my mind so i want to focus on um colonial art and that may be things from you know um old birth certificates and and books and not just i mean it'll be i'll have flags in there in fact i'm planning on putting a colonial flag on my cover only do it um more i want to use this star this is a stampin up stamp that i got it in a bag at goodwill and i'm just loving it but um it won't be a colonial flag in the sense that i have a circle because it's way too big I'll put some stars just on there and I'm going to put red stripes and uh, maybe some of those doodles from the pieces that I was looking at tonight. Um, just, and, and dresses and costumes and all of that. I want to be focusing on colonial art, folk art, um, just beautiful pieces out there. I just, I get so inspired looking at that stuff. Now, this is 16 inches high, and I think I've been making my journals uh, 11 and a 4. But I think I'll go back to 11 for this, because I was making them 11 and a 4th for, um, for my, when I was doing that acrylic April. So, 16 inches minus um, 11 inches leaves me 5 inches, so I want 2 and a half inches on both top and bottom here. So two and a half, I'm just going to mark it here. Okay, there's only two states that do not do the time. Indiana is one of them, I think, one of the states, because I used to live in Indianapolis, and they refused to change their time zone. <laughs> and I like that. What's the other state that doesn't change their time? What's the other one, Crafty? I know Indiana is one. Or Indianapolis, I know, doesn't. It's the reason I don't watch Mary in the mornings. I can't bring myself to get up at 3 a.m. I don't blame you, Holly. I don't blame you one bit. Um, my morning streams, I enjoy doing them. But, you know, I get a lot of international people because our... 4.30 there is going, you know, like Linda McAllister, it's around her noontime. So it doesn't hurt my feelings if you guys can't get in there because, uh, you know, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. I probably have trouble getting up to watch somebody stream at 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> oh, dear. So I'm going to go two and a half inches in here. So, and, and. Same thing here. If you get tired, you go to bed. <laughs> it won't work my feelings at all. I'm just up and ready to do my art. And I need to get it done. I, I want to get my July journal ready to go by July 1st, which is what? Today is the 29th. Sunday is the 30th. So it's the 1st. It's Monday. So I want to be able to open my journal on Monday and be able to start working in it. June kind of threw me off that way. So this will be the bottom of it. Right here. Of the cover. And uh, I go 11 inches up. So get my ruler. 10, yeah, this cardboard's kind of worked from all the water and stuff that I do on it. 11 up here. Oops, I might hit the, let's turn it around. Eleven there. Was I right there? Probably not. Yeah, 11. Maybe I'm not right here. 
No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Eleven. Why does that look lower to me? <laughs> oh, dear me. Eleven. And zero. All right. It's not lower. It just looks lower to me. So I've got a 20 inch wide page and uh, eight and a half and eight and a half is 17. So that leaves me three inch spine. I've been. So if I go eight and a half in, eight and a half here, and three and a half would be nine and a half, ten and a half, eleven and a half would leave me a spine of three inches so uh, let's just do it up here eight and a half and nine and a half ten and a half eleven and a half so this would be my three inch spine which gives me room to to grow if I need and all these lines that I'm putting on here will get painted out I don't worry about those. So that's about how my journal is going to go. And then I have a wraparound on it that I put on after I cut it. Now, let's catch up with chat. Hi, Lynn. What? Hello, hello. I see the, that on your post you made it to a doll meeting. <laughs> I read Facebook a little this weekend. Or this week. Hi, little red wagon. I guess I'll call you red. I think uh, we determined I was going to call you red because I've already forgotten your name. <laughs> red. Uh, Suzanne is here. Suzanne had to say goodnight. It's the reason I, yeah, okay. So Lynn is another Pacific Coast person. We got you from the East Coast to the West Coast. Now, I want to stamp this. I want to use this star stamp, and I want to do some of those uh, colonial-type doodles and sampler. I think I'm going to put, like, a colonial house here. And, you know, a lady, like on those old needlework samplers, they usually have a lady and a man on the house and then some sort of tree or some sort of side doodles. I might put stars down the, I don't know if I could put them all around. Let's see. I need 13 of them. Let's see. 12 would be like a clock. So I want to get a 13 in. So I'm going to have to squeeze it in. But I think I'll go there. And I don't, I think I'll bring it down in here. And there. And then maybe I'll squeeze, well, I'll have to squeeze it in. Maybe there and well, let's just try it. I'm going to stamp, uh, but I'll probably paint out. Where's my black here? Let's see what happens here. I have in my head what I want to do, but it always comes out different. It always comes out different. I love this stamp for got it in the Goodwill bag. So let's just put an image right here. And I'll go in and I'll be painting on it. Oh, I'm stamping on a canvas, so my ink is going to kind of blur. But that's okay. I'm, I'm going to be painting. So, and then I want the other one maybe down in here. Well, let's just stamp around. So there's one, two... Three. <laughs> oh, four. I don't know if I'm going to get 13 on here. Five. Six. I'm not going to get 13. Seven. I'm only going to get nine. Eight. Nine. 
10, we're going to redesign the flag. 11, 12. I don't know if that's how I'll do it. Let's see if I come out a lot more. One, two, let's, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ignore these in the center. I'll paint those out. 13 and maybe yeah that's what I'll do sort of like that so let me go in with maybe some paint and kind of wash in the ones I'm going to keep and the others will get painted out Mary stamp it on newspaper see if it fits oops too late now <laughs> Too late now, Mina. I generally goof it up and paint it out. It'll all fall into the background. Let's let's put some gold wash on there. Let's just for the fun of it. Let's get out that gold. That, where is it? that and I the stars have to be gold but I don't mind if they're a greenish gold or tarnished well gold doesn't tarnish but I don't mind if they're not a perfect I don't think gold that's all dry I'm just going to dip my brush in there so and that really should be up further, but that's okay. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. And I'll be coming back and working on them more. This is think of this as all as background art. And these are the ones that are staying. right in here so I got one two three this really should come down a, well I don't know that one should go up I think I'll do I think I'll do this one instead of that one do this one here and this one kind of broke the circle there but I wanted to make it wider. I generally, I generally just get the background worked in and then I'll come back and do what I want on it. <laughs> I'm just kind of blocking in my stars so you can see which ones I'm gonna use. That's not too bad. This one needs to be moved up just a little more. I'll repaint it. But it's going to be more than the flag. It's going to have the flag on there, but it's going to be kind of a painted collage type thing. Because I want some colonial, different colonial arts. I want a weather vane. I might put some dresses. I'm thinking sampler. Those doodles that we did tonight were colonial. That really does need to be moved up. I'm not sure about this area here. But for right now, I'm going to leave it. that back over there get my towels oh. 
All righty. Now what I want, I kind of want to dry that. And I want to dry it a little. I don't want to draw over my wet paint. And it's not meant to be a representation. I mean, it's meant to be kind of a suggestion of a colonial flag, the original 13 colonies. But it's not meant to be exactly looking like it. I want to put some red stripes kind of coming down in here. Uh, here's where I get into this star again. I think... I think... My mind wants to move this halfway in between. Let's get my, my mind wants to put it right here, which is not as high as this one, but not as low as that one. Yeah. I goofed up on that one. We'll just keep going with it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll paint around it. And even though I pa I'm painting in my stripes, they may not stay as vivid stripes by the time I get done. Let's see, and I, I'm only going to do them on the cover, on the front here. And I think I want them coming this way. And in there, and maybe just a hint there. And maybe down like that, only like that. I don't know how this is going to end up. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm not going to use my crimson. Let's use, this is called bright red, but that's another story. Let's put it out here on my palette. And uh, let's use this brush. And let's just paint this in just to get something on there. This paint is very transparent. You have to put more than one coat on which is okay with me. Let's see, I think I want to paint that star out. Bring it down, paint this star out. Phew! This paint stinks. It's getting old. has a musty smell to it. I don't want it to come down like that. I should have painted my stripes and then done the stars, but you know, I'm think I just do things differently, I guess. I do them as I'm thinking about them, not as I should do them. And I'm just kind of giving it the first coat. And one in here, kind of starting off in here. Now the 
that gets painted out. But I want more than stars and stripes on here. So this will probably fall, a lot of it will fall into the background. But I'm putting it in the background first in order for it to fall in the background, if that makes any sense. It's just a journal cover. It's just a journal cover. Got my stuff on top of my phone here. <sighs> Hi, Lucia. I'm working on my July journal cover. Now, I want a darker red, really. Um, this is, I guess I'll let it dry and give it another coat. But, you know, um, if you look at the flags, and I'm just going to show you a Google image here. Get inspired, not copy. Let's go to my Google. Uh, uh, Colonial American flags, I Googled. And look at this one, how yellow those stripes are. I don't know how you can, if you can see, well, maybe if I, so this is a, this is the tea dyed Amazon con. It's a tea dyed aged Betsy Ross colonial American flag, country primitive. This aged Betsy Ross flag has 13 embroidered stars on a deep navy field with 13 stripes, high quality, heavy cotton. And I kind of like the idea that they tea dyed that and made it the stripes kind of like a yellow, yellow white rather than a bright white. And I think I'm going to do that. Um, not do a bright white, kind of do a, a yellow white in there. I like the the idea of doing that. Here's here's another one here. It's kind of. This one, let's see if I can get to it. My phone. Yeah. This this one down here, these down here are more dirty white. See, it's kind of a dirty white. But I think I like it a yellow white type thing. So let's get out of that and go back into my chat here. You like that idea, too? Will you outline the stars in blue? I could do that. I could do that. I just kind of put a yellow wash in there so you could see where they are. You know, and they're kind of in a circle, but they're not in a perfect circle. This is not meant to be an exact replica of the flag. This is just... And I'll probably be doing something else over this, too, like in the center. Um you know, uh, I'm not sure what. I like the idea of doing a sampler over here, but I might do some colonial doodling off of like birth certificates or we were looking at those doodles on that chest. And by the way, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I went out during the break. I went out and looked at Be what Becky did with the doodle. It blew my mind. Becky just takes those doodles that I scribble on Friday nights, and she takes them to the next level. Blows my mind what she does. Just awesome, beautiful. So let's let's create a dirty yellow, tan, dirty, whatever, white, <laughs> if I can. And I don't know how much white I have left in this. I've got some. It's... It's pushing out, and let's add, let's add a little bit of this, just a teeny bit of the brown, not a whole lot. This is chocolate brown, and uh, I'll just put it over there, and maybe some, some yellow. Uh, I might want to add a bit of red in there, but we'll see. Let's put some yellow there. That's an awful bright yellow. But the brown will tone it down. 
So, you know, and I do my mixing with my brushes. I know you're probably not supposed to. Let's, am I buffering? I buffered a little there. Sorry if I buffer. I'm kind of using my top of my canvas as my palette. Because I don't want to mix it down there. And I don't want to mix it down because I put my hands in it. So we're kind of aging the white a little here. Uh, let's put a little of this tan in it. This brown. Make it a little... And this is just craft paint. This is apple barrel that you get at Walmart. Ooh, that's too much. Let's scrape that off over there. Let's get that off of my palette knife. I don't like mixing with a palette knife. I always, I don't know. I just don't like doing it. <laughs> I'd rather mix with my brush, but it's not good with your on your brush to mix with a brush. Now, I feel like I need some more yellow, but more of a yellow yellow. Then let's see what I can get out of here. I don't think I can get much out of this. It's about empty. I've been... Oops. Ooh, I had water in it or something. Well, that aged it. <laughs> I guess, I think I'll throw this away. It's, it's done for. I'm going to throw that away while I have the chance. While I'm thinking of it. <laughs> All right. I need a different yellow. Here, I have this school bus yellow. No, marigold yellow. Come on. Put it in my white. And another thing mix with mixing colors, I find I mix it and I get just what I want, but I never have enough of it. And then I have to try to mix it the same way again. That's not fun. There, I think that's about the color I want. Right there. Let's mix a little of this yellow with this stuff over here and make it a darker. Now, let's get it off of my brush. And I'm just going to do the aged, aged stripes in here. And think of this all as an underpainting. This is not meant to be perfect and exact in any sense of the term. Especially this, this in here. I kind of need to revisit that area. Now, that doesn't mean I can't put any white in this. Let's get out some more white. What did I do with my white? To my red. Put it over there, I guess. Let's get some more white out. White out. I bought a new bottle of white this week. I've been running out. Let's... Let's work a little white into that. Just we don't want it totally brown. Let's kind of work some opaqueness in there. That and I'm gonna come back in with my stars. So if I paint around them or cover up my cover them up a little it isn't gonna matter yeah. I probably even could have a little bit wider brush Let's see some more of this in here 
patriotic, but also colonial. So I may be doing weather vanes or who knows what I'm going to put on here. I don't know. I was looking at weather vanes. I was looking at samplers and birth certificates, the writing on the birth certificates. Got a drop of water there. How that got on there. It's just the journal cover. So, that's all it is. It's meant to be fun. You know, and sometimes when I paint like this, it kind of, I call this kind of sketchy paint. It's kind of sketching paint. Paint. Like, I don't sit and draw a perfect picture first. I kind of sketch it out as I go. I find when I do that, I'm so much more free with what I'm doing. Like, I'm not afraid to make a mistake like I did in there. It's just sketchy painty. Sketchy painty. It's like my stars are showing through there. I've got white in there, white in there that I'm not really wanting. But I, I also feel more free. I, I just I feel more free to to paint. I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of liking it. Uh, this area in here needs something. I need to go back to my red again. But I haven't used all my I haven't used all my aged yellow here. I'm really liking that color. I think I'll bring it in here just to use it up on my sampler. Let's see. Let's get a wider brush out. Is this wider? Yeah. Let's, let's put this one in the water. And let's just smear some in here. I'm going to be doing sort of like a colonial sampler over here with the house and the... And the uh, the lady and the man, and then I'll probably do some colonial, like I was looking at that chest in my doodle prompts. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going. I want to get a weather vane in there. For some reason, I've got a weather vane stuck in my head. Colonial art. If you go out and look at, uh, if you go out and look at the, well, any of them, just Google colonial art. It's amazing. I was looking at the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art, but it's amazing. It just totally amazes me. Beautiful pieces. The furniture, you know, the big old high chest of drawers. Oops. Well, that's yellow. more of that in here. I need to age that red a little too, maybe. Let's get some more of this done in here just to get something on there. Some of that white in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. And this is just craft paint. This is just craft paint. It'll, it'll dry. Let's see, I want that red. Let's do a little bit more striped in here. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. I'm trying to use up all my, what I mixed here. <laughs> And I'm thinking about doing the lines, the bars, like I did on my march and the, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. We'll see. I like, I like the design of it, but I don't know if it'll work on this. I've got an awful lot of paint here that just needs to be painted out here, I guess. 
and just smooth it out. There's a star in there, a star there, a star here. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I got thirteen of them at least. Alrighty. Let's let that dry a little. Let's look at chat. Mina, wow, you can view Becky's Doodle on her Facebook page. They're awesome. Yes. They're really beautiful. Yeah, I like that aged twi. I really do like it. I would put some down in here, but I keep getting my hands in there. So. Yeah, I think probably by tomorrow she'll have them on her community page and on Instagram. I think Scott came home. Hi, Anna Nation. What's the plan for tonight? Uh, I'm doing a marathon, so I'm going to be working on my July journal right now, my July journal cover, because I want to get my July journal all put together uh, so that I can start using it in July. I didn't get June's put together until <laughs> you had still not put together, <laughs> but I got a late start on June, so it really put me back. I want July's ready to go. Um. Then I'm going to be streaming, well, I started at 12. I'm planning on streaming until uh, 4 o'clock. Depends on how far I am with this. Um, then I'm going to take a break, uh, probably until 5 or 5.30. We'll see. I don't know. I'll see how I feel when the time comes. And then I'm going to pick up again and stream until 8 or 8.30. But for right now, I'm going to work on my journal cover. I want to catch up i want to do beth's scrap man because i want to get beth's mail out barb i think i have all her stuff done and uh azure i just need to put it all in envelopes and and aunt beck's i still got a few things i'm doing for aunt beck and i i want to get all those things mailed next week and i have postcards to mail i've got all my tags done I'm still doing some, some little things on some ATCs. I kind of wanted to do some stamping tonight. Um, I may not get that done. I don't know. We'll see. So that's my plan so far. <laughs> let, me, let me adjust my waste basket here. It's going to spill over on the floor. And I'm going to have a mess. there okay i think i'm done with my ruler for a while i can put it away welcome anna age not grungy <laughs> yeah red <laughs> oops oops i i sometimes this phone is touchy it's awful hard to you got to be careful when you're reading chat if I put any of you in a timeout, it's not on purpose. It's like sometimes you scroll and that menu comes up, and if you're not careful, you you do naughty things to people who don't deserve it. <laughs> uh, all right, Debbie. You off to bed. Good night. Sweet dreams, lady. I'm going to do some, I kind of want a darker red, and I'm not sure that uh, just putting a second coat is the answer. A darker red, maybe some blue in there, uh, some brown, maybe some of that chocolate brown with it. Might age it a little. Let's try the brown first. Blue, blue, blue will turn it uh, purple. Uh, or brown, depending on your hues. Sometimes when you mix blue and red, it turns out brown, just because the colors aren't always true blue and true red. Ew. Mary needs to learn to clean her paints better. I need a little, come on, a little, this is chocolate. This is called, oh no, this is nutmeg. Sorry, not chocolate, nutmeg. 
So it, it reminds me of a milk chocolate. I'm getting another paper towel out. Clean this off a little. I try to keep my paints clean, but I don't always do that. Most of the time I don't. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yuck. Well, that's as good as it's getting for right now. This this is impossible. All right, where's my Yeah, that dried on there. And look, it's running over in my on my page. Come on. I should know better than to do this. All right, we're going to mix a little red and we're going to mix a little of this brown into this red and see if we can't make it a little bit darker. Hopefully it won't turn it gray. It's not really the red I want. It's more of a brick red now. Let's try a little uh Let's try a little of the blue. See what happens. Now I gotta clean my blue off. <laughs> Excuse me while I clean off my paints. Let's try a little of the blue. Yeah, I think that's more what I'm going for. So I gotta get more of it in there. Come on. Only that's too blue. I need more red now. That's okay. I need a lot of it anyway. My red's kind of juicy. That's more the color I was going for. A dirty red is what I'm going for. An aged. Call it dirty, but it's more aged. Now, let's get my paint brush. Which one was it? This one? But this one. Yeah, we want might want some uh we might want some bright red just to put in there while I'm going. I should have a I should have a plate out, but I don't. I'm using the top of my canvas as my palette. And I'm going to come back in on these stars, but for right now, I'm just going to paint around them the best I can. Um, the stars can be repainted. I want to know that there's a star there, but think of this flag being hundreds of years old. This star, I might move up higher. It may fall off of the top of the page, but that's okay.
really, I kind of want a stripe going in here, too. We'll put one in there. And I'm kind of painting over the edges of my stars because I, I want them, I want them to sit on stop on stop on top of the stripe. So I don't want a lot of white to show. So I'll come back in and restamp them. I just kind of put them in there to know that I want to put stars there. Kind of liking it. And of course, I got too much paint mixed again. I think I'll get my dictionary out and paint in my dictionary. There's some bright red in here. I think what I'm going to put on here is a weather vane. And let me show it to you. I think I got it off of Pixabay. Let me go to my gallery and show you what I have here. Let me go to my gallery. And, yeah, I downloaded it off of Pixabay. I've been looking at um, weather vanes. And I really like, I really like this one. It's a weather vane. Now it shows it on the very top of a building. I think I want more of a, you know, a, I don't think I want it so like a hill there. It almost looked like it's standing on a hill, but I love that as a weather vane. Now I was looking at some others. Here's a horse one. Whoops. Here's a horse one, which is cool, but I don't think I want to go to that detail. Maybe if I made it in a black silhouette, but I'm not sure I want to do that. And here's another horse one here. But what I like about these, like this, see, it, it looks like a weather vane with the crossbars like that. So, and it, let's see, it doesn't have a, I, I like to get like the top of a building or something in here. I don't want, I like this one. Come on. Come on. Now well, it's got to rest a minute. Oh, I see what it's doing. Let's get that way. There. I like this one. I think that'll be cool right in the center there. And I don't know what this says. Something in something about St. Michael something or other. But I won't put that in there. I may put the Marriott to yay, July 2019 or something like that in there. And I think I'm going to put that in there. And then I was also, the, I, don't, I think these images came from Pixabay. I was looking at Colonial. I was looking at, uh, come on. Oh, it won't show up because it only shows up in my, this is, a, what do they call that? It's kind of like a negative art. It shows up if I reverse it that way. And it shows up if I keep it small this way, but the, minute I hit it, it blacks out on me in my camera. And then I just have pictures of my other art that I've been doing here. So, I think I'll go back. I think I'll put that weather vane in there. I like the idea of doing that. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do around the edges. Let me get my dictionary out and get rid of some of that paint up at the top. What did I do with my dictionary? Well, come on. I cleaned today. I cleaned today. Where did I put my dictionary? Oh, did I put it over here? No. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Never fear. Dictionary's here. I want to get rid of some of that paint so I don't smear it. 
well, let's see. I think I want a red in here, too. I know I want a star there, but... Let me make sure my stripes are like I want them. This paint is pretty thin. It's pretty thin. I don't know if these... Maybe I'm not ready to, to do this one. I have to do this one yet. some red up in here. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's just get rid of some of this paint. I mixed too much. Let's just scrape it across here. It's pretty thin paint. It's pretty thin. I could, oh, look, I smeared it on my sampler. Oh, dear me. didn't go, I don't think it did, too far. <laughs> I hope that didn't go too far. Get in trouble with the landlord. <laughs> He's a pretty good landlord. I'll have some red pages here. I'll be wanting red dictionary pages or something. All right, I gotta put this out of the way of the fan. Or it will blow my pages closed. All righty. Yeah. Let's take care of my boo boo here. Yeah. Some white in there. A little red and red on my brush. It'll all be covered up anyway. I just want to get a painter out there. Alrighty. I'm liking. I'm liking it so far. I think I'll get my plate out. This isn't working so great for me up there. My towels. The canvas is is not on a flat surface. It's kind of wobbly up there. I don't care about that. I'll be taking care of all of that. I just want to get it wiped up a little. All righty. Let me go over and get my plate that I put my paint on. This kind of needs to dry a little. Let's see what you guys are chatting about. Ah. 
Do you gesso the canvas first? Holly, the canvas is pre-gessoed. It comes pre-gessoed, so I don't have to gesso. But if it was not gessoed, I would not. I would probably gesso it if it was just a raw canvas. But it, it comes pre-gessoed. Hi, Patricia Stubbs. Welcome, welcome. Hi, River City. Welcome. I think Debbie had to say good night. Deborah is uh, uh, River City. Patricia's in the house. Holly's here. Mary, do you gesso the canvas first? I answered that. Uh, Renee, that's Red Wagon. Yeah, it's really kind of taking its shape, isn't it? I may get this done. Sometimes I think if you don't overwork something, I mean, if you don't try to, if you just get started and do it. Now, I need to work on the stars, of course, and I want to put that weather vane in there. Um, I might have to kind of white this out or yellow it out like I did the, this to get that. Uh, weather vane in there and let the flag come around it. Uh, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm going to go get my plate so that I won't be mixing up there anymore. It should be just over here. Should be. Should be. It's another story. Um, what would I do with it? No, I'm not going to use that one. What did I do with those plates? Arr. I think that I can't find things when I'm going. What did I do with those plates? I moved them so that they would be safe. I guess I use wax paper. I had a plate that I was using. Oh, here it is. I put all my tags on it. As long as we're doing patriotic here, I'll show you my tags. These are ready to mail. They're ready to mail. My paint is still kind of wet in there. So I'm not going to just wipe my red off here. that back or try to anyway <laughs> yeah i got some flags from those little flags i wanted at hobby lobby so these are the tags i there are, i think i'm going to be sending out 25 of them and i did i saved a couple that i'm going to send to canada that i did not put american flags on i didn't think that was so Cool, but I still put the celebrate on there because I think they have Canada Day and I think their Canada Day is before our um, July 4th. Is it in June, Canada Day? But anyway, they'll get the they'll get the essence of it. So I got to find a place to put these because this is the plate that I mix my paint on now. <laughs> so those are ready to mail out. I'm just, I'm still painting envelopes. Oh. I'm kind of liking that. I think I want to yellow out this area, though, because I want. I think I'm going to put that weather vane. Got it on my hands. That's okay. I'll be putting white in there. I think I want to put that weather vane in here. So let's let's go back and do this this trick again. Only do it on my plate. Come on. I clean you off. Yeah. 
if and that yellow I'm using is really kind of a bright yellow, but I think I want a brighter yellow in there because I'm gonna have the I'm gonna lead a lot of white because I got the I got the red stripe in there. I need that white to opaque out that red stripe. Although the red stripe shown through may not be a bad thing, and I'm about out of white. I'll probably be using the end of this. All right. So I'm going to go in there and smear it all out. Now I want a drop of red to kind of give it a little. And I think I used that dark yellow too. Give it more of a yellow color. Let's put that in there. I probably got more than I more than I need there. Let's mix it. I'm sure I have more than I need. Put some of that yellow in there. Oops, sorry about that. Of course, this paint is pretty thin. It takes, it's going to take a couple coats to get rid of that red stripe but even if that red stripe shows through it may not be such a bad thing have it behind my weather vane let's put a little bit of brown in it we don't want a lot little teeny bits of red Just getting it off of my palette knife. Yeah, where's my brush? What, what did I do with it? Is that the one that's... That's not the one I was using. It's this lighter one. Well, I was using it for not even here. Let's, let's kind of paint this area out a little because I want to I wanna put that weather vane in here. And I think I'll paint these stars out here and come back and re-stamp them in there. I wish I wouldn't have gotten rid of that red. Now I did that too soon. I'm not sure that I like this. I don't like it ending so abruptly. I'm going to have to come back in with red and work it in. Let's dry it. <laughs> Can't do a lot with it red or uh, wet now. <laughs> oh! Yuck!
I don't want that red to mix too much with my white. But I also don't want my white to be a, a square. I want it to kind of blend in here like it's kind of, the flag is kind of behind it sort of. No, I don't want it to turn pink. Kind of like that. I've got a painty hand now. You can do so much more with your hands sometimes than you can do with a brush. Sometimes you just need it. You can feel it. I. That's the best way I can describe it. You can feel it. Oh, that'll get better. <laughs> Let me get some hand sanitizer on my hands. Well, I think I'm going to work in some more red and dark red. Where's my blue? Let's add a little bit more blue in here. Not a whole lot. And a little bit more red. I've completely lost my stars, but I'll, they'll come back. The stars will come out again. <laughs> I'm kind of liking that. Let's put some more of this red in here. And I'm going to put my weather vane in there. Oops. All right. I think my weather vane will say, now I have to... I have to figure out my red, my my line, my spine line is right there. So my weather vane is going to be kind of off center. But that's okay, I think, because my journal will kind of curve around. So my weather vane is going to be over on the left-hand side of my page. That's how it's working out. I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to leave it that way. My spine line is right there.
stuff like that. I might move I might move this over just a little bit more. Cover this up a little more in there. Excuse me while I finger paint. I don't like what's going on here. Uh, getting that red in there, but that's okay. Because my spine is there. Yeah, I, I know I should have it dried off. That's. Harry, what are you doing? <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> It'll be perfect again. I think. Got to work with it. Got to work with it. Heating up, I should let it dry. It's not done. All right, let's go read chat. You need to get your BP meds before you forget. Okay, Patricia. Just to drive away. Let's see. They're talking to Patricia. No Congress... In between Yarnell and Wickenburg. Who are you asking? They're in Prescott Valley. There's some, what are those, cactus, Patricia? I'm here for a while, River City. Took a long nap. Good for you. Thanks, River. It's basically weeds, but neighbors are far enough I don't get bothered. Mary, you should be bad. <laughs> and so should all the rest of you. <laughs> Hi, Patricia Strufford. I took a long nap. I took, I didn't stream a lot this weekend. Uh, this weekend, I, or not, this past week, I didn't stream so much. So, I'm up for the night. Patricia, you happy cactus. <laughs> oh, dear. Dream large paintings. Oh, Red had to leave. Renee had to leave. Good night, Renee. She's already left, probably. She says, I'm going to say good night. Happy painting, Mary, and sweet dreams, Holly. Uh, just as Arizona gals, Mina says. <laughs> All right. Got some yellow up in there. Let me clean my hands. Uh, this bottle of san hand sanitizer comes in handy, but let me tell you, I need the hand cream. It dries your hands out. 
All right, I want to, where's my dictionary? Let's, let's save some more paint here. Oh, that's a horrible page, isn't it? <laughs> that's a horrible page. Let's, let's smear some white on it. Let's make it more horrible. It'll come in handy for something. Sorry for the scrapings. Uh, let's use this chocolate over here. Nutmeg chocolate. Try to do that quietly without sending chills up your body. the blue. All right. No, we saved most of it. Put it over here to dry. Let's wipe off my plate. I use a lot of paper towels. I use a lot of paper towels. You know, I'm kind of happy with that for the background. Got a red spot in there, but that's okay. We'll take care of it later. Let's do some clean up here. Okay, for now, I'll be getting it all painty again. Got that plate at a garage sale. I think I picked it up in the free dish where I paid 50 cents. I don't pay much for that stuff. Now, I want to... I want to sketch in my weather vane, I think. This is pretty dry. It's a little damp. Let's... Give it one more dry here. I like that weather thing. Your stars are gone. Yeah, they'll come out again, Holly. They'll come out again. I wanted to put the background in. I sort of know where they're going now. They're kind of going around here, but I wanted to get the background in because I didn't want the white... I didn't want to have to paint all around the borders of those stars. They'll come out again, and these red stripes will probably come out again a little bit more, too. I just did this in here so I could put that weather vane in there. And I think the weather vane is going to say um, the Marriott TA, July 2019. I need to... Get my ruler out here again. I think I know where my spine is, but I want to make sure. So, eight and a half is right here. Get my marker. Eight and a half, right in here. Eight and a half. And then three inches for the spine. So the spine would come right there. So the spine is going to come right up this way. So my weather vane is going to kind of be here. And then it's going to have that sign coming out. So the body of it will be right in here. Kind of mark that so I have a sense of placement here. This will all be cut off. Uh, the bottom of the journal comes in here. Right in. Right in there. And 
the top. The top is coming right about. I need to stand up, I guess. Right about in there. So, let's get this plate out of the way for a minute. Get my ruler out of the way. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mark. Oh, I was reading Holly's. Hi, Mark. Uh, what mess are we creating today? Mark! Mess! I'm creating my July journal. That's the mess I'm creating. My July journal cover. Oh, Mark, 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 Mark. You called my July journal cover a mess. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> I'm not insulted, not in the least. It is kind of messy right now, but I like it. I like it like that. And I'll come back in with red stripes and gold stars, and it'll be nice in the end. Okay, Holly. Good night, baby. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Take care of yourself. Have a good weekend. Your messes always come out amazing. Okay, Mark. I pray that 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 uh, that's better. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Okie dokie. All righty. So I want to go to my album here and I want to pick out this this weather vane right here and I'm going to kind of draw it now I know that my my spine comes here and she's got a uh, alright like that so I think I'll start in there and I might have to paint over after I sketch this on here. This is kind of all background. I might have to repaint all of this. Okay. And you gals, you need to get some sleep. You get some sleep. I don't, you know, I'm doing this for fun. I don't expect you guys to stay up all night with me. It'll, I'll, I'll have a journal in the morning. I'll have videos in the morning. Let's see. But now I also said I want that weather vane to not be on a hill. So I just kind of want it coming out this way, like that. And let's see, I think I'll put her wing. Her wing kind of curves up that way and comes around, down this way. And this will all be in black. And up this way and down that way. There's her wing. So her shoulder kind of comes here. I'm kind of keeping an eye on uh, on the chat, too, because um, I don't have a mod in here. Unless one of you want to volunteer to be a mod for me. So I'm going to be bopping back between my picture and my... Just until I get this done. So this will come down this way. And then her arm kind of extends out like and down like that Oh, Lucia's here. Oh, thank you, Lucia. Well, Holly had to go uh, Holly had to go to bed. Holly said good night. But Lucy is here. She'll whack them for me if anybody comes in. I don't have too much trouble with uh, trolls, but every now and then, every now and then, they get a little, a little frisky. 
<laughs> Let's see. I don't think she's that. I think she comes more like this and then comes down more like that, maybe. And you can kind of see some white lines in there. And I'm just making them kind of thick right now. I'll be painting. And then I'm going to let this this kind of come that way. Now it's coming like that. And she's holding on to a, it looks like a sword of some sort, a gold one. And it points off that way. And it has another point there. And she's holding on to it with her hand. And this hand is coming off this way and coming up. And her head's kind of tilted back. Her head is kind of tilted back, but it's not a big head. So I don't want to get it bigger than her wings. She's got a neckline here. I'll have to paint all, repaint all this. I'm just kind of figuring out where her, where everything goes. And then she's got a halo around this way. And her arms come this way and this way up here. And she's holding on to, oh, I see she's blowing the horn here. So that hand has to come up a little bit more. She's blowing onto a horn there, which really comes out really wide there. And then there's this in here. Okay, so let's refine this. Kind of like that. I think she's too fat. I'll be getting out the yellow paint again. <laughs> kind of liking it, though. And then the horn. The horn is gold and comes out there. Now, I still need to get my stars in there. And I think that'll be enough for my journal. And I'm not liking her head. She's, she's more of a... More like that. I'm going to have to get some yellow paint and refine all of this. And I'm one that does, does all this as I see it rather than sketching it out. And, uh, you know, if I have to paint over something, I will. Rather than sketching it out on a paper and doing it the right way, I just kind of sketch it in and paint over it. I'm pretty happy with it. She kind of comes like that. Maybe she has more of a, a dress area in there, and then that comes down. All right. Let's go back to chat. Okay, I'm going to paint this in black. And I might have to do some touch-ups in between with my yellow, my, my, my dirty white, <laughs> my yellowed white. But I'm pretty happy with this. And I'm going to stamp in my stars again. I'm pretty happy with it. Alrighty. So black. Black, black, black. I have a metallic black. But since it's the cover of my journal and not a page, I'm going to use the metallic black. Don't do that, Mary. Clean it off. <laughs> there. 
All right. So let's get out my smaller brush here. Oops. It jumped out of the pan. Wash it out a little. All righty. So let's just start painting in the silhouette here. And I'll probably have to do more than one coat. Of this. This is a weather vane, believe it or not. I'm liking it. I'm liking what's happening on my page. I'm going to have to come in with some more white, yellow in there. I looked for some of that, uh, what do they call it, 24 karat gold. I couldn't find any at, at my Hobby Lobby. I was kind of disappointed. I wanted to get some. I found some other kinds of gold that, what was it, 620 or something like that. I couldn't find any 24 karat gold paint. They were telling me when I did that. Hobby Lobby Hall to look for the 24 karat gold and I did, I thought they were <laughs> being funny. Oh, I wanted some white showing in there. Well, I'll come back in with the white lines. I'll come back in with the white lines. Yeah, I'll have to give this more than one coat. It's a pretty thin paint. All this craft paint is. Yeah. If you want a nice coverage, you've got to do more than one coat. I am liking what's happening on it, though. Yeah, I got a lot of rest already this afternoon, so I'm not even tired. What time is it here? It's almost 2 o'clock. I can go for another couple hours, and then I'll take a break, probably around 4. Then I'll come back around 5 or 5.30 and do the rest of my art. I'm hoping to have this done by 4, or mostly done. I've figured out what I wanted on it. I may spend the whole night on it, though. <laughs> oh, dear. Oops, I laughed and jiggled my line. <laughs> I 
You finished your ATCs for the swap? Wow, Lucia, that's cool. Lucia, when are you going to start doing videos for us again? Loving that. I am loving it. I got some stray lines down in here, though. Let's We'll take care of them. I'm glad you decided to join the swap, Lucia. I'm glad you're back with us. I understand being a new grandma, but it sure is nice to have you back. You hate editing. You know what, Lucia? Um, try doing an unlisted stream. And, uh, of course, whatever you... Whatever you say will be out there unless you want to edit it. <laughs> but uh, a lot of my videos now I do as unlisted streams. And just let them go. Uh, let them go to, you know, review it to make sure that everything's okay. But uh, let it go public. A lot of people don't like things that are sped up. I like to speed up, especially like when I'm doing... Uh, pick tens and that, but a lot of people just like to see art done like what I'm doing here. I'm going to dry that because I'm just scribbling out my paint. You have a few that you need to edit? I don't do a whole lot of editing anymore. I do some. My pick tens I like to edit because I... I'll fast forward through those because nobody likes to watch all that stuff going on. But Oh, you don't talk when you art? Oh. Well, that might be an issue, but <laughs> you would have to download it but uh, to put music or whatever you do. But I understand the editing thing. I don't like to edit either. In fact, any editing I do nowadays, I do on my phone. I edit right on my phone. I do most of my work on my phone nowadays. They've improved the uh, they've improved the uh, editing app enough, so I don't even do the editing on my PC anymore. Microsoft took away Movie Maker. And I, I just don't have the inclination to want to learn all the, learn another one. I just, I edit right on my phone. I use the phone app to edit. I don't get the same type of edits. I don't have my introduction and all of that that I used to have, but have, <laughs> who needs it? All right. I need, let's see if I can look around my computer here. I bought some new white. I'm going to paint this white, that um, sign, the banner. Let's see how much black I have on my... This is going to be in white. Oh, you would talk, but you don't know what to say. Well, you know, here's the thing. Most people really, you know, um, they they just enjoy talk about their granddaughters or, or uh, you know, you don't want to give away too much stuff, but, you know, talk about how much you love them and, you know, <laughs> anything that you want to share. Uh, I just talk, man, I just, I chatter away probably bore everybody <laughs> um, I ha and I find that I make a lot of mistakes when I talk I mean 
these gals know. They're always correcting me. I don't know everything. They learned how dumb I am, but hey, I wasn't born with to be a genius, you know. I learn a lot. Of, I learn a lot from you all. Sometimes it can get a little embarrassing, but I'm just me. I might as well be me in front of you all. There we go. I'm kind of happy with that. At least it's a banner. It'll say the it'll say uh, the Marriott July 2019 on here. And let's see. I think I'm ready to touch this up with my gold in here. My um, so I'm gonna have to mix some more. Uh, yellow. <laughs> Sometimes I don't feel real, Lucia. <laughs> uh, um, I guess I'm just, I'm me, you know? I make mistakes. I feel like a real person. Sometimes you think a real person has to be a perfect person. You know, edit out all the ums. I used to go in and edit out all my ums. <laughs> sometimes just like now I, I have a nervous laugh sometimes I talk too much let's see I want some blue I think I used to edit all that out not anymore and I want a little of that nutmeg back what did I do with the nutmeg it's still out. Here I am mixing my dirty white again, my yellow white. And I kind of like that. Come on, get in there. Boy, this is, I thought I shook it. This is a juicy, this is a juicy paint. It's very juicy. And I know I didn't add any water to it because I haven't used it in a long time. Alrighty, well, I guess I need to get my palette knife out. I don't like mixing with my palette knife, but. Alright, we want some yellow. Probably a lot of yellow. So let's just bring it over into there. Probably more white. I can't believe it's going to be July already. I mean, I feel like I just got finished working in my marching, uh, art journal. Here it is, July. I don't know where the month of June went. It just went on by me. Let's put a touch of red in there. Just a touch. And a touch, just a teeny touch of blue makes it dirty. Might need a more teeny touch. Ew. Sorry about that. Let's scrape it off of my palette knife. Got back in the water. Here comes a train. All that mixing and all I want to do is kind of touch up the areas in here. It's not completely dry. Let's get out my heat gun. Hi, Tina. Welcome, welcome.
Yeah, I was out there looking at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I really like that website. I love going to their open access library. And sometimes I'm not even looking for doodles. Sometimes I'm just looking at the art that's out there, and it just blows my mind. Uh, thousands and thousands of pieces of art in the open access library. And then they have other collections that, that uh, are, are not uh, public, open access meaning public domain. They have other pieces that are, uh, you know, just collections, but they're not public domain art. I would love to visit that in real life sometime. I think that would be awesome. But I don't know. I think it's it's either in Washington or New York. I haven't I haven't looked. I looked at once and I forgot. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Like that? Yeah. And in here? Yeah. And in here? I'll leave it be. Try to clean up some of these spots in here if I can. And I just have craft brushes. I don't have anything special as far as brushes and all of that goes. I'm pretty happy with that. clean up some of this other stuff in here. Gosh, I hate <laughs> I hate leaving all that paint on there now that I mixed it up. Let's do the gold horn and the gold sword. I might have to darken that gold a little and it's got she's got a halo around her head yeah i'm just going to reach on this probably isn't the best way to do it Probably have to outline that or something. Oops. That isn't what I wanted. I wanted gold. I need a finer brush. I'm using too wide of a brush. And I took them off the table here.
Lucia says, I love how the internet can bring people from all over the world together. Isn't that cool? You know, we are so fortunate. I mean, we did not have this even in like when I was in college in the 70s. I went to the college in the 70s. I think there was an internet, but it wasn't it wasn't as widespread and you know, we didn't have all the personal PCs and we certainly didn't have mobile phones. Didn't have any way to stream things. Let's get rid of some of this gold in here. We'll be doing some gold stars. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, sort of. I think I am, and then I see something I want to change. Remember the first mobile phones? They were huge, yes. I never owned any. The first mobile phone I owned, though, was a big old thing. It wasn't a suitcase-sized one, but... Let's see. I think I'm going to mix some of this with my brush again here. Yeah. yeah, I got too much. Yeah, I don't like that. Burning out of paint here. <laughs> I think I'm pretty happy with it. You can't see the gold horn yet. I'm going to have to outline it in the gold sword.
I want this area in here to kind of be blurry in there. I don't want the stripes to be have hard lines on them. But I'm pretty happy with it, I think. I'm going to let that part dry. Let's get some more. I'm just kind of painting what I have left on my brush on my canvas, on my palette. I'm pretty happy with it. I want to go in with black lines here, but I'm going to have to let that dry. So, let's... Oh, I know what I want to do. Hold a minute. Let me put the lid back on my gold. Yeah. Okay. Of course, I got black on my brush. Let's go in here. She needs a halo. She gets a halo around here. And I'm going to outline the gold horn and the sword. Yep. Alrighty. So. Huh. <laughs> I hate wasting that paint. But if I, if I don't scrape it off on my page, it'll dry in a spot on my plate. So I'm going to get my palette knife out, get my book out, put the plate up there. See, that's dry already, but let's get some of this white that hasn't quite dried yet and just kind of scrape it on there. Just to not waste that 80 cent paint <laughs> Beck says we don't want to waste 80 cent paint I had a laugh when Aunt Beck said that no I don't it's a sin to waste 80 cent paint put a little more blue on there yeah Scrape off my black. Painted those two pages shut. There we go. We don't want to waste it. Besides, I kind of like it like that. Could make some background for Americana. It could. I want to paint my sampler over here. That's where I'm going. I'm going to kind of dry that. Oh, I didn't get the brown. Well, too bad. I'm not going to dig it all out again. Oh, my page blew. Yeah, let's. Where did it go? Oh, no. Where's my Americana page? I've got to keep it out where the fan won't get to it. There. Ha! Let's clean off my plate again. And when I say sampler, I mean the colonial house. The colonial man and the colonial lady, maybe a tree. It's not going to be a sampler sampler. I think I downloaded it. 
from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I'll look. I can't remember if I did or not. I think I did. It just keeps my next mixture clean, cleaner. Pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Needs to be washed with Dawn dish soap. Okay. Let's see where we are in chat. Isn't your birthday coming up? I don't know. Uh, isn't yours coming up, Lucia? Yours is in November 18th. Is your birthday November 18th? It's in November 3rd, 18th, 15th. You can get smart watches for 10, the 18th. <laughs> I think I remember because I forgot to send you something last year. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you when mine is. It's your journal cover, Mary. You can do what you want. That's what Dee Dee says. Yes, it is. <laughs> Pretty soon we will have a Captain Kirk communicator that we can just pin on the smart watches. Or, yeah, the smart watches. Now we all carry around cell phones no bigger than Captain Kirk's communicator. Isn't that true? Yeah. They can't beam us up yet, though. They can't beam us up yet. I think that's pretty dry. I'm going to dry it off just a little more. Maybe I'll outline it in black. My, put my halo in there and outline my sword in the phone. The phone. The bent. Put the sword in the <laughs> form. Talking about phones. I'm kind of happy with this. I do, I want to put the stars in there, and I do think it does need some blue. I'll get it on there. Maybe I'll make the stars with gold, silver, blue. I don't know. Yeah, my phone is Come on. It's not going to flip. It's not going to flip. Come on. Flip so I can see chat. There you go. Why not? Because you'll send me stuff. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see. Is this my dark one? Yeah. So let's go look and see how that halo goes around her head here. Oh, yeah. See, it goes, it goes from her wing here around to almost looks like to her mouth. It looks like it hooks onto that horn and it comes behind her head here. Oh, that's not going to make a good circle, though. I'm going to put it down in there down there and then it'll come up and around around the there around well her halo may not be perfect <laughs> my little weather vane angel here doesn't have a perfect halo that's why I have her okay then she has a horn here that she's holding on to yeah. 
comes this way. And this way. Oh, I'm happy with it. I'm wanting to pick it up. <laughs> and this way and this way. And then she's got a, a sword down here. That kind of comes out like that. Sort of. And the sword, the sword holds the helps hold the banner the banner comes in like this in like this and really does kind of i'm going to make it go like this and it has kind of a white area in there like that and let's see if i can draw this sword line in here like that yeah I knew I'd mess that up like that a page is kind of warped so my lines aren't exactly straight but that's good enough and I need my stars on here I, I think I'll put my stars on next instead of going to my sampler Alicia, I love those watercolors you sent me. I'm afraid to use them, though. <laughs> all right. I'm not going to get all the star on here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm missing. I'm going to have to squeeze them on. So, I'm thinking how I want to see that wasn't entirely dry. Let's see if I can wash that off a little. If I stamp it on, I'm afraid I'll smear it, but I can always paint it out. So, let's see. One, two. I could stamp them and collage them on, which would probably be a better idea, wouldn't it? Let's do that. Let's do that, Mary. Brilliant idea. <laughs> let's see. Let me see here. What do I have? Maybe I'll stamp them on scrapbook paper if I can find my scrapbook paper. I have it out. I had it out. Is that it? Yeah. Find some gold like this. Did I tear all that out? I think I tore it out. I tore out the pretty gold. <laughs> Did I? I think I just left the, I took the pretty gold out. Oh, no, I didn't. Look. Except I think I'll stamp them on the back. I need 13 stars. I'll stamp them on the back so I won't be stamping on the, the glossy part. Let's see how this works. <laughs> and then I can place them however I want them. One, two, I'm going to cut them out, three, four, five, 
five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Mary can count to ten. Ten. I need thirteen. Eleven. Twelve. We've got to get some blue on here somehow, Mina says. Thirteen. All right, I'm going to cut these out. I like those stars. Those are this is a Stampin' Up stamp that I got at, in a bag of Goodwill stamps. Well worth the price of the bag of stamps just for this star. All right, let's cut these out. Still got some gold left. Hmm. We'll see how these look. I wish that I would have picked it up. Um, I may yet, if it's still available. When I went to a garage sale, I always go to this garage sale over in this little small town east of us. Every year, the church puts on a garage sale. And I always go because they have so much stuff. And I saw this sampler, a needlework sampler for $3. And it was real needlework. But I put it back. I said, well, I got too much. I've got too much. I don't have any place to hang it. But it would be really neat to put it in my journal. And they're going to have another garage sale on July the 12th or 13th, up around in there. Maybe I'll go in another. They go, they go to the small town east of us, and then they go to the town where we do our shopping. So maybe if I go there, maybe I can find it. Maybe they didn't sell it. They didn't have a whole lot of craft stuff this time. That's where I got those dies for a dollar a piece. About four or five spellbinder dies for a dollar a piece. I got some shoes there. I got a purse that I carry. Two years ago, and I still am carrying that purse. Still wearing the shoes, too, because they were loafers. We'll see how these stars look. Either that way or this way. I don't I'm not sure yet. I kind of like the stamp on it. We'll put them both ways, maybe. Ooh, I kind of like that though. that I also like it like this and put a good wash on it. I don't stamp inverted stars. I don't think these there's any way to stamp an inverted star on these. I think they still look like stars. Wait, let me get to they still look like a star if I put it now my my spine comes right there so I got to to uh, make sure that I don't get it across here or it will break across the spine my spine line comes right there let's cut them out I like them both ways I really do think they show up better this way. 
Well, you can't see it too well because it's kind of far away. Let me try to zoom in. I don't know how it's... Let me zoom in one. Maybe you can see it a little better. Plus. And, yeah, there we go. Let me move. Come on, there's my camera. Uh... That way, that way. There. There. I'll cut them out and then I'll decide whether I want to put them. I like that. We'll see. I like them both ways, to tell the truth. I need 13 of them. Well, if all I get done is my July cover, I'll be happy. All right. Once you get all the gold stars there, maybe outline them in black. It might have a nice effect. And I might border it in blue because we do need blue. I might border the entire journal in a dark blue. We'll see when I get there. What time is it? It's 2.30. It's going on 3 o'clock. I better hurry. I won't get this done by 4. <laughs> I might just work on this entire art journal the whole night. I'm not going to stop till I get it done. Well, I'll stop, but I'm not going to work on anything else till I get it done. I've got other art I should be doing. I should be finishing up my art that I want to send out. <laughs> it's finishing up. I've got a few postcards that I need to stamp on. I'm going to save all these little scraps for my art journal for my... I should put these in an envelope for my art journal, scrappy scraps. They're too pretty to throw away. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see, I'm talked out. I don't know what to say anymore. Mina's watching her phone. Is anybody else buffered? I buffered a little earlier, Mina, but when I was streaming on Friday night, I buffered. I haven't noticed it buffer now, but I did buffer a little on my phone here earlier tonight, uh, earlier last night. I wanted to get to the post office today. I really should, but I don't know if I'll make it. I'm not going to worry if I don't. Ooh, I am kind of liking these. You get them at, one alone looks a little lonely, but when you get all of these on here, it's kind of cool. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got seven more to go. These are cool.
Now, Beth Schuler will stream tomorrow night, 7, 7 o'clock, I believe, uh, 7 Eastern Time, 6 Central. And she does journaling by bingo on, on uh, Saturday nights, which is fun. I enjoy that. Now, that one's going to go across the spine if I'm not careful. I'll just bring it down further. This one will kind of go across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this is going to work. Oh, and uh, the other thing I was looking at in that Metropolitan Museum of Art, if you go to my community page and if you look at any one of my doodle, like I've got doodle prompt 819 up there tonight or Friday night, but on any one of them, I should have the very first link should be set up to take you to the open access library, which is all their public domain art. And it's just filtered so it'll pick up anything. Uh, but I ran another search on my own where I searched for United States and the time period from 1600 to 16 something to, I think it was 1608. They give you the dates to like the 1800s. And uh, thinking that that would be all colonial, American colonial art. And you get all sorts. You get samplers and dresses and you get all these old um, uh, portraits. They did a lot of painting and portraits. That would be fun to do some. And they put them in these cameos. It would be fun to do some cameos. So I think I'm going to have fun with my art journal in July if I stick with it, if I don't get distracted. I'm working pretty hard to get my mail out. <laughs> oh, dear. I am really horrible with that mail. I am loving these stars now. What's going on? You do your videos with your phone? Yeah. I used to do that too before I got, before Anlar and uh, Annie V to pity on me because I was live streaming and I remember how I'd lose my connection and all of that. I never have a problem with that now. Uh, but before I did all my videos on my phone. I did my live streams on my phone. I do all my edit, any editing I do now, I do on my phone. <laughs> it's amazing what these smartphones can do. I don't download too many games. I do play solitary. I uh, don't sit and play it all day, but I, I like their daily challenge. I go play that. I like to play the Sudo Sudoku, Sudoku, whatever puzzles. I like those. I play those. I pretty well can do the easy ones pretty easy. I'm, I'm working on the medium ones. Let's see. I think I want this one over further. Um, I, have, I think I only did one hard one. <laughs> uh, and what's the, oh, I like to, I like the bubble pop the bubble game or the bubble shoot game. I play that. Those are the only three games that I play on my phone. Uh, but pictures and the art and the videos, it's just amazing what you text messaging. 
it's just amazing. Go online, go on the internet, get on Facebook. You have your picture galleries. It's just amazing. Just totally amazing. Let's see. I'm going to have to adjust these because i got one more. I'm going to figure out how to put that other star on here. I think right in there. And I think, Nina, what I'll do is put my stars on here and, yes, outline them in blue. That's what Nina told me to do. And I think that's where I'll go, well, maybe with my blue Posca pen from Mitzi. Let's put this one right up in here. Now, let's, I want to put all these in an envelope so that I can use them later on. Maybe I'll do some sort of a mosaic with them. That would be fun to do. Oh, let me move my squeaky chair. Oh, let me reach for an envelope. Be fun to do a mosaic with those. Ah, uh, drink a tea. Still drinking iced tea from last night. <laughs> Let's put these in here so I have them when I want them. If I can find them, that is. Yes, I am starting to like this. I had no idea. I kind of had somewhat an idea. I knew I wanted to use that weather vane, and I knew I wanted a flag and stars. But I didn't plan this out. Uh, it just kind of grew. It grew. I'm going to put these stars down, I think, with tacky blue. I'm going to have to figure out because it, let's see, the edge of my page is right here. I, it's, that horn may go off of the edge of my page. I might have to adjust that. Or I could just put the star over. I don't want to put the star over my horn, though. I'll probably have to adjust it. I want to keep this the spine line. The spine line goes down here. So I don't want any stars crossing that spine line probably will anyway um, because it'll bend the stars and it just doesn't fold very well so I'll have some spars some spars some stars in the spine we'll just open this up way up like this and put this one here and maybe this one more in here maybe just like Maybe just like that. I'm worried about my horn. I think I'm going to have to adjust my horn a little. Good night, Mina. She's probably long gone. You do short videos on Instagram, Tina says, but I talk in Swedish. Well, you need to talk in in the language that your that your uh, your native tongue. There's nothing wrong with talking in Swedish. Sometimes, if you're doing art, art is universal, and even if you're talking in a foreign language, sometimes people can understand what's going on just by watching you. Art is very visual. It's kind of a universal. thing tina art 64 on instagram let me go let me uh go to instagram and look you up whoops that's messenger we don't want that uh i want to go to instagram instagram mary instagram 
uh, search for Tina Art 64. Was that it? Tina. Wait a minute, I lost it. Tina, Tina, Tina Art 64. Two A's. I'm looking for you, Tina. I'm kind of off camera. Uh, search. Tina. Wait, search for people? Search. How come it isn't searching? I don't know why it's not working for me. No, I don't want to do that. I'll have to write it down and figure it out later. I'm not I'm not getting it. Tina Art 64. Let me write it down. So I want to find you. Tina Art 64. Instagram. Okie dokie. I'm back with you now. Let's see where we are in chat. Tina has a sketch face for an icon. You know, Mary, I was cleaning the other day and I came across the box and it had that eye cam I was going to send to you. I completely forgot about it. Oh, that's okay. I've got a webcam now. Maybe somebody else could use it, though. Keep it for somebody else. Yeah, that Sudoku, isn't that fun to play? I love playing that. Mary, oh, <laughs> you're so creative. You know, it just comes. It comes. It just falls into place somehow. You know, you just kind of have to keep playing. It's all play. Hey, Mary, what you making? Hi, Barb. Welcome, welcome. I'm working on my July cover yet. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Chrissy. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Lucia, if you need to go to bed, you go to bed, too. <laughs> I don't want to keep you up all night. <laughs> Sometimes I feel guilty keeping you guys up all night. <laughs> don't come watch my channel. I could do this unlisted. I could do it on all unlisted, but what's the point, you know? Why not just do it public and you guys you guys can you're old enough to take care of yourselves. <laughs> but still I feel guilty. Now, I need to get a lot of blue on these stars, though. Because they're going to have to clodge down. That means my fingers are going to get sticky. I don't want them pulling up on me. They got five points to them. I'm going to put this one right in here, maybe like that. Let's do the next one, knowing that my spine comes right down that line. Keep, keep the stars out. Side the spine line. <laughs> yeah. I'm get out a clean towel. To Get 
And then I'm going to come back in and outline them in blue. Hi, Teresa. You need a webcam? River City says she needs a webcam. Lucia says she has one that she never used. It's still in the box. Oh, look at that. Bless her heart. See, that's how Ann Lar was. Ann got a new computer. And uh, she said, Mary, I'll send you mine. And I, uh, well, who was in here? Was it Lynn? Was it Lynn that said, Mary, listen up. Him. Yeah. And so she said, it has Windows 10, and I only use it to stream with. I only use it to stream with. So I don't want these stars to go too far over. I don't want it to go across the other line. <laughs> um, and then Annie V. Annie V. sent me a, a, a webcam. And that really took a lot, care of a lot of problems that I was having. Took care of a lot of problems. Let's see, that other one, I think I'll mark that other one. Because where's my ruler? Put it back. Right here and, well, three inches. <laughs> three inches. Eight, five. All right, in there. Fine line. Yeah, where's the other one? Right there. I am. Pretty happy with how this is going. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Teresa's in the house. Her little grand, little, it's a little boy, isn't it, Teresa? He's out of ICU. He's home. Cut one star so it will fall behind the banner. Oh, what a great idea. So, right in here, you mean? It, it could only... It could fall. Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. And that's really a good idea because I'm thinking that, let me get my ruler out again. I should mark this too before I started because the edge of my, the edge of my canvas falls right here. And, and, uh, yeah. Because I've got masking tape on it. It falls right in here. And it's going to cut off a part of that horn. I'm going to have to revisit my horn. Let me mark all the way down on this. The edge. See, I put masking tape on it. There's the edge of my canvas right there. And it just cuts my horn off. I think I'm going to paint this out. And make the horn a little shorter. But we'll do that later. But I like that idea of cutting this star so it falls behind because it would fall on top. <laughs> I wouldn't see my writing. I guess my writing could be behind the star, but all right. I like that idea, Tina. Yeah, Barb says, we're old enough to decide if we want to stay up and watch you or go to bed. <laughs> yeah, Barb. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's so sweet of you, Lucia. I love you guys. You're so generous. Just help each other out. Barb says, I wish I could sleep. I wish you could, too. I don't envy you guys who have those bad backs. I just wish it would get better for you. Chris says, Mary, I sent you a friend request on Facebook. Chris C. Okay, let me go check Facebook. I have to tell you, uh, 
unless I know somebody is going to friend me or something, I, or unless I sent a couple people friend requests, but um, it's really hard to know if if people are. Um, no, that takes me to chat. Let me. I want to go accept your request. Hold on a minute here. Let me get out there. Facebook. I have to go to, I think I'll go to my profile, uh, featured, add song, friends, see all friends. Uh, do I get friend requests here someplace? See all friends. Search your friend list. All recent. Where do I find who sent me to a request here? Uh... Find friends, add song, add featured. Uh, timeline. Oh, somebody posted. That was Sharon Lombard. Oh, I completely missed that. Sharon posted where I can find those brushes that... Ooh, I have to go answer that. Uh, see all friends. Where are my friend requests? Here. 61 requests. There you are. All right, Chris, I'm confirming you. I confirmed you. Thank you so much. Polymer clay artist. At Littles by Chris. Let's go look at Chris's. Um, let me close out my Facebook. I don't like leaving that open. Let's go look at Chris. Do you have a channel, Chris? Where did she say? Where are you, Chris? Barb, River City, Lucia, Barb, Teresa. There you are. Go to channel. Oh, are you you're not doing any videos? You should think about doing some videos, Chris. Alrighty. I'll go back to the chat here. Thank you so much. Lucia says, I'm trying to get rid of stuff before my craft room explodes. <laughs> You make me giggle. That's why we have craft lunches, Lucia. Yeah, uh, Teresa just had a, not an operation, but you went through some testing on your throat, was it? Or uh, I forget what it was because I get you all mixed up. Lucia says, I have two new babies, but they are six and nine months now, growing like weeds. Love those littles to pieces, and well, you should. Aw. I think Mina was buffering earlier. I think Mina, I'm not buffering, but I think Mina was earlier. Teresa says, I have two granddaughters also. 23 months and 6 months, and now a new bouncing baby boy. There's nothing like grandchildren. The first boy we had in our family in five generations. I see some spoiling happening, Lucia says. Cameron, what, was Cameron your first uh, grandson? I remember Cameron because he made all those scissors. He made the scissors. When his little sister was born last year, he said, Grandma, please don't let the baby be your favorite. <laughs> Aww. Aww. You make cloth dolls? How fun is that? How fun is that? I'm ready for this star. I'll bet you do some nice work, Chris. Do you post uh, on your page? Do you post pictures on your Facebook page or in a group someplace, Chris? I'd love to see what you do. 
I don't get out the Facebook as much as I should. I don't what I don't get it. I don't do anything I should do anymore. No videos yet, but maybe someday. You're way too shy. Well, let me tell you, Chris. I was known as the shy one in in uh, when I went to high school. But you know, social media. You find the right group of people who who accept you as you are. Social media can help you a lot get over that. I don't call it shyness. I never saw myself as being shy. I saw myself as being a quiet person, an introverted person. And, uh, of course, all my friends said I was shy. <laughs> so I was shy. But, uh, you know, um, being on social media and meeting other people and just chatting to them like you are right here now. You're in a you're in a group of folks who who accept you for what you are. You don't have to worry about you know worry about uh, worry about anything. And uh, if you're uncomfortable, you can leave whenever you want. And nobody's going to attack you for that or anything like that. I don't know which is my clean one and which is my dirty one. I think that was a clean one. Um. And here's another thing about doing videos. You can do a video and practice. You don't have to upload it. You don't have to upload it until you're ready. You can do a video 20 times. And uh, you don't have to upload. You can practice. And when you're happy with it, upload it. Of course, you might get tired of doing the same video 20 times. But practice. And uh, the thing about videos is that you can you can talk away, and nobody's going to criticize you until you upload it. <laughs> you know, uh, just go out there and talk like you're in your room, talking to yourself or talking to your family or whatever. You, you know, you just. I know the social media has and the internet has helped me a lot. Uh, just made me more comfortable in meeting people and talking to people. And I've made a lot of mistakes. I still make mistakes. But that's how you learn. If you don't make mistakes, if you don't do a lot of faux pas and, and crazy stuff that you, you know, sometimes you look dumb. You get over it and you move on. You just admit that you're not, the, <laughs> you, you weren't born perfect, you know. This one I'm going to cut. I love the do, idea of cutting it. I think I'll cut it like that maybe. So it looks like it's going to go half off the page and half off and under. Let's put this one on. Of course, the other thing that helped me when I was in high school, I was really quiet. But I was finding myself, you know, teenagers, all teenagers go through a period. Well, most teenagers do. Some of those teenagers, I swear, they were born knowing what they wanted to do in their life. And they went and did it. And they're out there being a success, I guess. <laughs> but not me. <laughs> I had to go through a period of very quiet. I went through a period of uh, of just finding out who I was. But I will say, if I would have never moved away from home, I'd probably be a totally different person. Because I probably would have never, you know, I probably would have never gone on the internet. Uh, I don't know. I'd be a whole different person. So I'm happy with who I am. Let's see. I think I need to move this one up a little maybe. Yeah. And this one down a little. It's not going to be perfect, but. Let's 
now let's see. Let's do these. Well, I might only get my July cover done, but at least I'll have it done. I always I always take longer to do things than I estimate. I should estimate twice, twice as long when I set out to do something and think it's not going to take me 10 hours, it's going to take me 20. <laughs> count on it, Mary, count on it. Let's move this one down in a little. Yeah, I've got a dirty one and a clean one. A dirty one I wipe my fingers off on. The clean one I smoosh the star down with. <laughs> of course, now the dirty, the clean one's getting dirty from my fingers. I'm getting gluey fingers. All right, one more, and then I'm going to cut that other one. Put it right in here. Move it over. Alrighty. We're gonna cut the don't think it matters. We're gonna cut the feet off of this one. And put it just like that. Now, the point on this star will probably fall off of the edge of the page. Come on. I'm going to have to trim it just a little bit more. I love that idea, Tina. Good idea. You guys give me good ideas. Which one's the dirty one? And I'll be snipping the because a page comes there. So the point of that star will snip off. I'm going to have to readjust that horn too. We'll do that later. You're wide awake tonight? Denise Joe says, I'm so tired that I can't fall asleep. Hi, Denise. That happens sometimes. I thought I'd pop in for a little while. Well, welcome. Welcome, Denise. I'm wide awake tonight, too. It is a little after three, just about a quarter after three, not quite, central time. I'm going until four, and then I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break at 4 o'clock, and uh, then I'll come back around. It just depends on what's going on, either 5 or 5.30. And I'll probably still be working on this journal. <laughs> oh, now i got tacky glue all over my fingers. All right, so now what I want to do, and maybe I'll experiment on this too, is I'm going to get out the Posca's that... Mitzi sent me, and I think there's a dark blue one in here. There's a blue one, a darker blue. Let's see how dark blue it is. Oh, yeah, and I'm just going to draw around them. So, yeah, that's what I want to do. <laughs> So let's see how this works. If it doesn't work, I'll paint it out. 
and I'm going to draw it freehand. like this and being careful not to press too hard on this Posca pen or I'll, I've learned that you don't press too hard on the points or you get a big blob. Now it's okay if these lines go over the spine fold line because they're paint, they'll fold. But a collaged piece will not fold. It'll, it will wrinkle up. Ooh, I like that. Let's do some more. Let's bring it out that way. This is really fun to do. Ooh, I got a little blue smudge there. Just a little one. Kind of covered up, maybe. Good night, Barb. You're working again tomorrow? Well, you need to get your rest, Barb. You need to get your rest. Go get some sleep. Thanks for peeking in and have a good day at work tomorrow. Hi, Crafty Kitty. You were at your daughter's dis oh at Dee Dee's discount store. Oh, Do Dollar General Dee Dee's discount store yesterday and saw a pajama pant set shirt. It read, "I have a hard time going to sleep at night and waking up in the morning." <laughs> oh dear. Isn't that the truth? Except I did get some rest yesterday, so I'm really rested up. I'm I can go until eight o'clock with no problem. But I am gonna take a break. And so those of you who want to go to sleep then. <laughs> I won't hold it against you if you need to get some rest. I'm really do liking I'm really liking these puskas. Um, at first I didn't like them but I think it was because I didn't know how to handle them. I think you have to to learn how to use them carefully. And this, of course, will go off of the border, but I'm going to go ahead and draw it off of the border, off the edge of the paper. And it will be cut off when it gets trimmed down. Now I think I'll go up and do these. Oh, I'm wanting to move my paper. Ooh, this one needs a little help. Yeah, I should have this July journal done by July 1st, which is the way it should be. Oops. Oh, well. How fun is this? Now, this is going clear off of the top of the page. This will be cut off right in there, but we'll cut it, we'll trim it when we get there.
Lucia says, my husband wants to go to the lake tomorrow and take his boat out. I figure I can sleep in the car and on the boat. Win-win. Very cool. That sounds fun, Lucia. That sounds fun. Sounds like a fun 4th of July weekend. Uh, except for it's not quite the 4th of July yet. Sounds like a fun outing. Let's put it that way. A fun summer trip. That one got a little big. Oops. Can't see what I'm doing over here. I need, I, I'm wanting to move my paper and I can't because it's taped down. I'm going to move the phone or I'm going to bump it. Put my nutmeg paint away. Yeah, my brother used to uh, take out the boats and everything, too, but he sold his boat. He sold his boat. He sold his camper. He kind of lost his... He still goes fishing. He likes to fish. He likes to fish. Except he hasn't done much of that because it's so hot. And the guy next door had an operation so on his back, so he doesn't have a good fishing buddy. So that gets taken care of. Let's see. I think I'm just going to let that point come up here on it, on that one. I don't like being out when it's so hot, but I suppose being on the lake, at least you have a little cool weather, coolness. Um, I like to go urban sketching. It's my outdoor sport. I haven't done much of it lately, have I? Just about done here. There. What did I do with the lid? What did I do with the lid? There it is. I think I'm happy with that. And I think I'll take this white one and do those lines. Um, get my phone out again here. You don't go, like going out when it's in the hundreds? I don't blame you. Let's see. Uh, on this angel, it's got two white lines coming there. Let's see, it's got a white line coming here. In here feels a little juicy and then it's got one coming kind of a gap and then it comes way up here I can make it neat oops like that and then a shorter one in here like that You know what I'd like to do? The white's kind of juicy. Um, I'm going to let that dry. What I'd like to do, maybe with, uh, hmm, 
I'm not sure about green. Maybe the red. Uh, I'd like to do those dots. I'd like to do some dots. I'm not sure the green would be the thing. Let's try some green in here. I don't know. Not pink, not the light blue. Light blue, red, red dots. I think the red would probably work. Let's try it. Let's put my hand right in the white, maybe. Let's try it. I can always paint them out if I don't like them. I could do white, but I don't think the white is opaque enough. It's pretty thin on that one Posca pen. I think I'm going to stick with the red dots. I could do black. Let's try black. I'm not sure I like the red. Let's do some black ones. Ooh, I think I like the black ones better. Can I go back over the red ones? Sure I can. It's only paint. Now I'm just having fun. Now I'm just having fun. Do I want to do it around my angel? I don't know. Now where are these coming from? They're coming from that doodle that we did tonight. Let me get it out and show it to you because it's really cool. Let me go to my doodle game. Uh... And it's way down at the bottom. What happened to it? 19. Yeah, where did it go off to? Doodle game 18. Oh, it's down there. See, these are, are uh, white dot. Whoops. White dots on. Flip, flip. White dots on. Uh, sort of a dark background. See all the white dots? They remind me of cat hand. That comes off of a chest, a painted chest. Pennsylvania Dutch, I think it is, or Pennsylvania. It was painted in Pennsylvania. It's kind of colonial art. It's really cool. I really do like it. So that's why I'm doing dots around my stars. <laughs> Just in case you wanted to know, let's go back out to my, a, a hundred's pretty hot. Let's see. Oh, my daughter said where she works, it's so hot the birds are scratching at the windows to get in. Oh my goodness. Denise said it's so hot here, the birds need pot holders to get their worms. <laughs> Oh, Denise, that's funny. Too much humidity. Yeah, it's too hot to get outside. Yeah, I agree. Hi, Lynn. Welcome back. I'm going to continue with my dots. 
now that I know what I'm doing and I've explained myself. <laughs> Explain yourself, Mary. What are you doing? I'm putting dots on my stars, around my stars. Just because I want to. Still got some sticky, I feel, probably from that glue. I haven't decided whether I want to put them around the angel. It might be too much to put them around the angel. I think I'll leave them off of the angel. I'm getting hungry. When I take my break, I'm going to go eat some cornflakes, I think. They're easy to fix. I like cranberries on them. I don't know if this is the best thing, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I think it adds some sparkle to the page. Only dots. <laughs> go up here and do it even though it'll get cut off they'll get cut off takes a lot of time to do one of these journal covers You know what I'm wanting to do? It may be, maybe I'll think about it. I'm wanting to outline the stars, give it a double outline, make them look dimensional. We will see. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. It might be too much. Should practice on this one. Where did I draw this? See, like that. And then outline it like that. I kind of like that. Outline it like that. And then like that. Whoops. Well, like that. It would be. Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I'll goof it up.
kind of like it. I don't know if it makes much difference to you, but I kind of like it. You have to get your nose up to it to see it. got kind of squished together. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I'm not getting a whole lot done tonight. I'm going to do a whole lot of different things tonight. I got half of my journal cover almost done here. <laughs> but I like it. I like what's happening on my page. Let's go back and finish my dots. Oh, I should do these. No, I should do these. I should do the lines while I'm doing the dots. Put my hand there. Let's see what I'm doing. You know what I like about doing the videos and recording and even doing the live streams is when you go back and watch, you see how your page progresses from when you first started to, uh, to how it ends up. And it's really kind of fun to watch and you, you see the decisions that you made, like I decided to put lines around here. I decided to put dots around it. You see how it affects it. That's what I like about recording the videos. When you do art and don't record a video, you do all these changes. And uh, as your page grows, the changes get lost. I'm wanting to move my... <laughs> Who's in here? Let's see. Teresa says, my daughter said, well, she works okay. I got that. Teresa, wow. Teresa said, that's what they told her when she called, and she told me what had happened. That's pretty hot. Okay, Lucia's getting sleepy. Good night, Lucia. Thanks for sticking with me. She's probably long gone. Ten minutes ago, she said good night. Thank you, Denise. Oh, you didn't leave. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Didn't leave. Oh, Lynn didn't leave. Okay. Thank you, Teresa. I'm kind of I'm kind of liking what's happening to the page. Uh, dots and stitching. Denise is dreading the electric bill. Yeah, my brother kept putting off the kept putting off turning on the air conditioner because it sends the electric bill way up. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, 
Now, I'm streaming tonight, but as far as I'm concerned, if it's on, if it's off during the morning, I'm okay. If it's off late at night, I'm okay. We just have a window air conditioner. But when it gets so hot in the afternoon, when it gets so hot in the afternoon, I'm not going to put dots on the point of that star. And when it gets so hot, you know, when, you're, when your room is 86, 90 degrees in the house, it's time to turn on the air conditioning if you can. <laughs> Let's see, I was going to put lines around these. But in the morning, it's usually cool enough that we can turn it off. And I just, if I have a fan going on me, I'm okay. He, I don't know how he does it. He never complains. I complain. <laughs> he never complains about it. Uh, you know, and he just has that one, one air conditioner. I guess he's tougher than I am, though, with it. But what he what he's trying to do is conserve the electric bill. I understand that. But it just got so hot today that he had to turn it on. I didn't ask him to. He did it. I just, I ran the fan. <laughs> I just hinted. But. He pays the electric bill, so I'm just grateful to have a roof over my head. I'm just about done doing these. What time is it? 3.41. i got 20 minutes, and then I'll come back and work on the back cover. It's going to be just the journal cover to today in in this marathon i'm not going to get anything else done but i'll have my july journal cover done i won't have june's done i think in june for my june journal i think i'm just going to collage and maybe i'll do art to uh um you know doodle art like this like the stars i like i like doing this maybe i'll do something similar in june for my June, uh, and I think I'll just do collage art for my June cover rather than try to paint something. I might just collage things down and uh, doodle around it, maybe do some stenciling. Yeah, I think we're supposed to have some hot weather clear through the end of the week. I got to get out tomorrow and water my my poor flowers. The city had us not use our water for outside water for 3 days cuz they were cleaning the town water tower. So I had to water them. I saved off buckets of water. And the ground flowers, you know, they have rain water that they could reach for. But the potted plants, I had to water them. I saved off buckets of water to water them. But they need to be watered again because I didn't water them yesterday. So they're probably yelling for some water and I think I'll feed them too I'll feed them some food <laughs> some plant food tomorrow <sighs> and then I'll go take a nap <laughs> I need to go to the post office but I don't know if that's going to happen tomorrow 
may not happen till Monday. It may not happen till Monday. All righty, just got two left here. Outline them. I don't think the white dots would have showed up too good on on the background, on the yellow background, They would sh or this cream colored. They would have showed up on the red. River said, it's been a while since I've been up this late, but I did take a nap. <laughs> Denise says, we'll all meet in the poorhouse. We're talking about electric rates. Yeah. They get you coming and going with that. I, I feel sorry for the people like in the cities, those elderly people who, you know, you always read about who can't, uh, who can't afford can't afford a air conditioning or a fan or whatever. They have cooling centers in the cities. Let's see. I'm going to print, I think. You know, I'd love to do some fancy writing. I don't know if I dare risk it on here. However, I could. <laughs> I could practice. Let's see. I could write it and collage it down. How do I want to do that? He does. Uh, something like that. And then just print July 2019 in here, like that. Let's see if I can do that. Good thing I'm practicing.
Do I like that? Or maybe I should just print it. Be more readable. July two oh one nine. I'd like to get so I could do that fancy stuff, but I think I'll stick with this. I feel more comfortable with this, so I'll mess it up. That's not too bad. I guess I'm happy with it. Ah. Let's go back to the white, though. I'm not happy with the white. The white, the white isn't white enough for me. Do it and let it dry. Might give it another coat. There's my. I want to get this before I put my hand. I think that I am going to leave that for the front and call the front done. It'll be trimmed along the edges here. Now on the back, this will be the front cover. On the back will be, uh, I'm going to put a colonial house and a, a lady and a man, maybe a dog, maybe a colonial type tree. I might put, I don't know if I'll put any sampler stitches, but maybe I'll put some colonial doodle art like what we were doing in my stream, something like that. I'll, I'll have to go look. So, I think I'm going to call that, um, the, this, this is really where that light is shining. It's not really that shiny. It's gold like these other stars. The light's just hitting that. So, I might come back in and do doodle art. And I might do that with the paint pens on this side. Like, I, I did paint pens there in black, and I'm really happy with how that's showing up. So what time is it? It's almost, it's 3.53. Let's see, you guys are chattering away. Let's see. It's very playful. Oh, it's very perky. Per, perkyful? <laughs> Denise Joe says, that sounds ambitious. I can't wait to see it all done. Yeah. I... I did some of that doodle art. Oh, what Becky did just blew my mind. Just blew my mind. I wonder if she's put it out on her Instagram yet. Uh, let's see what Becky's Instagram says. Let's see if she put anything out there. Where's my Instagram? Let's see if she's put out. Yeah, she did. Let me move. If I can get it in there, can I? This is... This is what Becky did with the doodles. If you're not, uh, can I, whoops. Oh, uh, yeah, go away. I don't like to do that. Let me go back, Instagram. Now I suppose it won't be a, so let me turn it. Will it flip? Flip. No, I guess it's not going to flip. Let's put that way up there. This is what Becky did with the Instagram, with the doodles. See, and she put those white dots in there. I don't know if you can see them or not on my phone. 
but it's really this was one of the doodles we did in the stream last night and she made a card out of it just beautiful just beautiful she did an excellent job so i don't know if i'll do that same doodle on here because i want to put the colonial house and the man and the woman but i plan on doing something in here and maybe around i don't know if i'm going to keep that stripe i might paint that stripe out there because this will be the this will be the spine in here and this will be the front cover hi bib from oz welcome welcome linda Hello, Linda. I'm just getting ready to close out for the first part of this. I'm going to come back um, around, I think, 5.30 because I need a break. So uh, I'll come back at 5.30 and do this cover. So thank you all for coming in. Thank you for those of you who sat up with me all night. Yeah, it's a wrap. <laughs> Oh, because I'm on in the mornings? Yeah. Oh, your computer's in your closet. Oh, my goodness. I, that would be hot. Art is healing. A great distraction. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, I'm going to let you guys go for now. I'm going to go eat some cornflakes and maybe make some coffee. Uh, clean up a little around here. And then I'm going to come back and do the back cover. And I'll have my July journal done. I'm pretty happy with it. By the way, this is a weather vane. <laughs> Just so you know. Uh, let me go back to my my gallery here. Uh, whoops, wrong one. Uh, I got it off of Pixabay. Yeah. Here. I got it off of Pixabay. I got all these weather vanes off of Pixabay. But this is what it flip there. Now, this, this down in the corner is my video playing. But this is the weather vane. I thought that was so cool. I thought that was so cool. A really cool weather vane. And so that's what this is. So I kind of want colonial art. My theme for July is going to be, I turned my phone off. My theme for July is going to be um, colonial, colonial art. So I might be doing dresses and samplers or I don't know what all I'm going to do. <laughs> I'd like to do maybe some old-fashioned portrait style and put them in cameos. You see a lot of those old oil paintings. Uh, I might even do collage, just take a, take a, a regular face of a man and put a white wig on him. Just do some playful, whimsical stuff. Just have fun with it. That was, that's what I'm thinking for July. Of course, the 4th of July, I'll have 4th of July stuff. But I also want it to be colonial. So I'm going to go ahead and close out. And I'll be back. 3 is telling Lynn that she loves her dolls. Yeah, the YouTube today is the... Your, your video finally went up. I'll have to go check it out, Linda. The heat. <laughs> well, you know what, Denise? You don't have to draw straight lines. I swear. I didn't... You know, these lines aren't straight. Just draw your lines and, you know, the, the best way to draw a, a line is just to relax. Uh, practice. Just, just go like that. And just relax as you do it. Don't worry about, I think sometimes people try to, you know, go careful and everything. And that's when it gets crooked. Get out a piece of scratch paper, old newsprint and a marker, and just go like that. And that will loosen you up. To where you feel like you can draw some decent straight lines. But the best thing is just not to worry about it. The upload took forever. And it's not a big video. Oh, Linda. 
sometimes YouTube gets crazy like that. All right, you guys, have a great morning. I'll see you, for those of you who are going off the bed and going doing other things, have a, have a good weekend. I'll probably be in Beth Schuler's tonight. She does. Oh, see? I'm getting up at 4 o'clock. That's my alarm. <laughs> my phone is my alarm clock. <laughs> so it's time to... Time to go eat some breakfast now. Make me some coffee. I don't know if I want coffee. It's too hot for coffee. Maybe I'll go make me some iced tea. <laughs> See you later. Bye.